here we are at lunchtime. We're seeing that transition. In fact, the northern half of the state seeing that light snow here. The southern half we're seeing that wintry mix that ice. We already had that moderate to heavy snowfall from Friday still out there on the ground, not going anywhere. So any additional snow we get one to two inches with that light glazing of ice certainly could weigh things down like those tree limbs that are already weighed down from Friday snow and maybe some power lines certainly going to cause some travel problems this afternoon into this evening. And it looks like we could still see a few problems tomorrow morning. Temperatures will actually be doing a funny thing through the overnight. They'll be rising between the low and mid 30s. So it looks like we'll have a period through the overnight of some light rain. But then look what happens as we get closer to daybreak, the chilliest part of the day. We're going to make that transition back to maybe some light freezing drizzle. We can see it here in pink. Certainly could cause some delays for your Monday morning commute, maybe even some school delays with that light glaze. Again, even the smallest amount could certainly make things pretty slippery for us. We get a nice break Monday afternoon, mostly cloudy skies. Then Tuesday, here we go, uh, go again with snow showers, but at least the temperatures will be very chilly, so we won't be talking about that wintry mix. That ice moving in here later on this morning, sticking around through the late afternoon hours. Temperatures, well, they'll be rising into the 30s for Monday, but look at this. Snow showers return on Tuesday. Temperatures cooling off big time, way below normal in the 20s. We should be in the low 40s. Single digit overnight lows Wednesday into Thursday. That's going to be a cold uh, walk to the bus stop, Jessa.